you're new and you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, we're almost 100,000 strong. Hit it if you haven't. Today, I, is there a smudge on my thing? There might have been a smudge on there. I'm starting today by doing some boring adulting stuff. You guys know the taxes are due really soon. Not exciting, not fun at all, but I've got my planner, I've got my laptop, and I've kind of just been adulting for the last little while. Hello? Yes, please. Hi, it's Elena, one of the nurses here at Good Jam. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Is Alyssa? Yes. Hi, how are you? Your mother almost done. She'll be ready to be picked up in about a half hour. Oh, okay, awesome. So as you guys just heard, I um, wanted to give you a little bit of an update on Zane's mom. I kind of feel like I mentioned that she wasn't doing well and then I never talked about it again. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update. First of all, she's been in and out of hospitals and ERs and, and doctors for like the last however many days. It has literally taken over her life, which really makes me think like, you need to appreciate every day because life can literally change on you like that. Like she can't go to work, she can't lift heavy things, she can barely walk, she limps. So life lesson, just um, appreciate what you got now because it can change overnight. Anyways, long story short, she basically has a crack or a fracture in one of her discs in her back and um, the piece that cracked off, sorry this is a little bit um, gory? That's not the right word. Anyways, there's a crack um, from one of her discs that have fallen off and now it's hitting against her nerve. It's kind of like a pinched nerve. Basically her leg has gone like numb. She said she can barely feel it. Um, and she went to multiple doctors, she went to specialists and basically they said that she kind of needs surgery. Otherwise she'll have to keep getting shots and it just won't be um, like a permanent fix. It'll only be temporary. So she went to get a shot today just to alleviate the pain for a little while. And then she's going to schedule her surgery, um, hopefully within the next few weeks so that she doesn't have to deal with this pain anymore. But I did see some of you guys commenting and asking what was going on. So I appreciate you guys for asking. And she's doing well, she's feeling better than she did um, a few weeks ago when she couldn't even pee, like she couldn't even use the bathroom. So now at least she's able to like literally at least talk without crying in pain because that's how bad it was. So she's doing better. Um, hopefully within the next week or two, she'll be like way, way better. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Feel better. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. For you. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Okay, guys. So we picked her up. She was starving because for her um, shots that she just got, she needed to not eat from midnight until her appointment. So she was starving. So we took her out to lunch, went to the diner really quick. Now I'm back home and I'm heading back out. I'm going to go actually to my parents for a little bit because my sister just called me and I was planning on going there today anyway. I was going to surprise them, but now they know. So let's go over there and see Jackson, everyone. Let's do it. Do you guys remember when I used to take these steps? This is so weird. gonna give you my old phone charger but now you can't have it maybe no is it no no thanks Liz I don't know if you want any of it but look what I got you want one cutie patootie hey look Jax he's so fluff you want oh you're a good boy <laughs> who do you think you are laying with your legs spread out like that oh. He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Do you guys see the way his legs are? <laughs> Why do you got him out like that? <laughs> he has the most interesting, like, Far. Yeah. yeah. It's like so round. It's like so perfectly like plump. <laughs> All right, well, it's been a few hours and we did some adult stuff, you know, talked about taxes and filed taxes and stuff. So I didn't vlog anything. But I'm gonna head out now because I'm hungry for dinner and Zane actually texted me that he needs me for something. So, what? <laughs> I'm used to being on the video. What is this? It's for their teeth. 
The cats? Yeah. Where is this from? What is that discreet packaging? <laughs> what? I don't want this. Where's the power? Power. Jax likes it? The teeth. The things for the teeth. I gave her two of them. Oh, yeah. For the cats. They're real. They're real. He doesn't like it. Oh. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Anyways, we just scurried off. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Bye, guys. Bye. Group, goodbye. Bye. Tell the vlog that you've been good because people are like, where are you been? I know, people are asking for We're us. We're all good. <laughs> We're still mom and DIY dad. <laughs> yes, it's us, it's the parents. She doesn't live with us anymore. So we're not on the videos, I'm sorry. Maybe we'll do one one day. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should do a sit down video. Yes, Let us know what you guys want to see. Yeah, it's what did mom and dad miss over the last few months? We should do a who knows me better. You versus you. Okay. Maybe. We could do we'll that. See. <laughs> we'll see. You guys let me know. Okay. I should do pretty good on that. I don't know, dad. I don't know. Oh, my favorite cat in the world? <laughs> Good job, baby. Yes, I missed you. What do you mean my help with? I can't say on the vlog. Oh, mm. it's a secret. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so Zane's in the shower right now. We just worked on the special thing. You guys will see soon, hopefully. Um, and then we just had our leftovers from lunch for dinner and um, he went to hop in the shower. There's something that I've been wanting to do in our closet for a really long time and I just haven't done it. So we're gonna kind of prank him. Don't know how this is gonna go, but let me explain. So since he's obviously bigger than me, his clothes are so much longer and they kind of just hang down and I can't really see everything. And I'm way more particular about my clothes and stuff than he is. So I've been wanting to flip flop these and I've been saying it to him, but I don't know if he actually believes that I would. So we're gonna try and do it quickly before he gets out of the shower and try and get his reaction. I just heard him getting out, shit. I was trying to prank you. Wait, why? Because I'm moving your stuff. It's not really a prank. So you wanted to do that anyway. I know, but I was trying to do it before you got out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even care. I don't care. I what a fail, you guys. I fail. This one just really wants to be a part of Kira's baby girl. He has went in this bag. I can't even tell you how many times I've had to take him out. So hopefully she's not allergic to cats. Can you get out? You're sitting ow, on her stuff. No, no. Why do you want to do that? Look, he just loves it. I think he likes the crinkly sound of the bag. Also, we moved the cat tree in our bedroom. And this one has been loving it more than I've ever seen her love it before. <laughs> Anyways, I just speed did the rest of it off camera, so I'll show you what I got so far. I do want to go in and organize it because Zane's is not organized at all. And now that mine's up there, I kind of want to switch it around. So I'll show you what I got. Go in here. Since Zane has a lot less clothes than I do, I had to switch the hangers to down here because he just has a lot more space. Mine is going to be kind of jam-packed up here. Um, but for now, we've got the first section is kind of like my new stuff so that I don't forget that I have it because... I tend to do that. I buy stuff and then forget that I bought it. So uh, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is just organize Zane's because it'll give me peace of mind. I'm literally just going to do long sleeves and short slave sleeves. <laughs> I'm just going to do his in long sleeves and short sleeves just because I'm not going to go that in depth with it. Um, and he just has long sleeves and short sleeves. He's not as complicated as girls, you know? So I'm going to do this real quick. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so basically what I did, because Zane honestly really won't keep up with it if I go any more than this, I just took one divider and put it in the middle, so we've got his long sleeves back here, and then his short sleeves up front. I tried to organize mine as best as possible, to be honest with you guys, I might end up switching it back. I don't know if I love it that much, but it is a lot easier to go through and see stuff, so we'll see how I like it. But for now, we've got new, we've got my t-shirts, and then I put like my cardigans and long sleeve shirts and stuff and then we've got like my crew necks and hoodies and then I put 
put like my tank tops and stuff just because it's not summer yet and I'm not really gonna be wearing these so I put them towards the back and then my jackets because I don't grab these ones very often they're kind of more not for everyday use you know the thing that I do like though is that it gives more space around here so it kind of makes it feel a little bit bigger and a little bit more open um, and I also have like in this basket is like my fuzzy socks and like my long socks like what I'm wearing right now so now I have more accessibility to those. Although I am thinking about kind of switching the roles of this because Zane's hamper sits here and as you can tell, his fills up so quickly and this is where his jackets are supposed to go. So I might put this hamper in this back corner here so that he has like a better area for his hamper. But other than that, I think we're done. We need to have a talk, you guys. Yes, I changed again. I feel like I changed 500 times in this vlog. I apologize. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys instead of being silent about it because I feel like it will just make me feel better that you guys know what is going on and I don't want to make this dramatic at all. But long story short, your girl is PMSing and she's PMSing so, so hard. I am going to get my friend in a few days and I feel like I have never had this much emotion when it comes to it. Like, I had a breakdown yesterday and just cry for no reason like i've wanted to cry every single day these last like maybe four days like my emotions have just been terrible i've been thinking negatively about everything and honestly my channel is something that i enjoy i love and i like to make it positively i don't want to get on here and be negative about stuff but i feel like getting this off my chest is really gonna make me feel better because i know that a lot of you guys will relate to this benji come here so yeah, basically, um, it has caused me to have no creativity, no motivation, no... Usually I'm like up here and I'm bubbly and I'm happy, but these last few days I've just been all oh, at the lowest of lows. I have just been mad and sad about everything. Not even mad, more sad about everything. I just want to cry at everything. <laughs> Benji's going crazy. So, um, I've had multiple talks with Zane about it. I even vented to Kier about it. I vented to Sam about it. And, um, everyone's telling me, like, what I'm telling myself is basically, like, you're gonna get out of it. Just, like, run your course, you know? And I just had to talk with Zane saying, like, maybe I should take a break for a few days from YouTube. But honestly, like, creating is what makes me happy. So, just taking a break will make me not happy at all. Um, so forgive me if my content is... Content? <laughs> forgive me if my content is lacking lately. I... I'm just feeling a little bit less creative, which when you work in the creative field, sometimes you're not going to feel creative and you're not always going to be 100%. So um, I know you guys understand that, obviously, that it's not always going to be peaches and rainbows, but I know that I'm going to be super raw and honest with you guys. Being a YouTuber, you go through super high highs and then there's super low lows. Um, and I was just on a super high and now I'm on a super low and I am working on like a few big projects behind the scenes so I know that I'm on a low and that I'm gonna go right back to a high and I'm so excited to show you guys everything um, we are beginning the final steps of one of the projects right now um, and obviously you guys know the other one pertains with Zane's mom and she um, was feeling um, worse but they said that after her shot she'll feel worse for two days and then feel better so we're gonna hope that she feels better within the next two to three days and then we can get going on that project so you guys should be seeing that in about a week or so. No promises because obviously her health comes absolutely first. Also, the last thing that I wanted to update you guys on was I know I kept talking about the apartment tour. I'm just waiting on a mirror for our bedroom in the mail. I'm not going to wait till I get everything absolutely done because that will take me forever. And I know you guys want to see it soon. And obviously, it's fine. Like, if not everything I want to be in here is here, like, you guys will see it throughout the vlogs um, in the future. So, we're going to film that. Uh, the mirror should be coming on the 20th, so in a few days. And um, then I'll film the apartment tour. So, that will be coming soon. And hopefully, that will rejuvenate my... Um, creative juices you know but anyways yeah we're making baby strides forward because honestly like me filming this right now without crying is a miracle <laughs> because i haven't cried about everything so um i'm going to leave you guys with that i don't want to bore you anymore but i can tell you that honestly just saying that right now and getting it off my chest i'm already feeling better so i think that we're gonna get the ball rolling i want to upload way 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 more for you guys i was on a very good every other day schedule so i really want to get back into that if not, like, maybe multiple times in a row. So, just bear with me. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Big things are coming. And thank you for everyone who has stuck with me. I can't believe we're almost at 100k. That is insane to me. Let me know what you guys want to see for that. Um, I do have one idea that is done already. So, I want to do something else. More stuff, because it's 100k, you know? <coughs> Bless you. Gross.
Benji misses you guys. Say I miss you guys. Love you so much. I'm being crazy. So yeah, you guys, honestly, just thank you to whoever is sticking with me right now because we're going through a rough one and I promise, promise, promise you guys that things are about to get real exciting. Today's notification shout out goes to Monica Fuentes. I love you so very much. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of the notification squad. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.